Think I've earned this, don't you? Cheers. Oh, I can really tell that only cost a fiver. Oh well, beggars can't be cheesers. I haven't had a night to myself in almost two months. Before all this happened, Leo, he's your son, remember? He would stay with my mum once a week, give me a break. Sometimes I'd go out, get so drunk I couldn't remember which way was up, pull some lad who I wouldn't touch with a barge pole if I was sober, and wake up with a half-eaten kebab on my bedside table and a thump, thump, thumping in my head. The dregs of last night's makeup still clinging to my face. Sometimes I'd just stay in the flat, put on some music as loud as I wanted, Britney or Christina or Madonna, and dance on my bed, sing at the top of my lungs. I'd say the neighbours think I'm mad but they haven't said anything yet. Self-isolating with a three-year-old is as straightforward and stress-free as you can imagine. So many questions. 99% of them I can't answer. Where are my friends? When can I leave? Why is your face like that, mummy? There's one question I can always answer, though. Where's daddy? You don't have one. It's just me and you against the world, kid. And don't get me wrong, he's my world. But sometimes I just wish I'd had more time to be young before Leo came. Give my twenties a proper go, you know? That's an awful thing to say, but can't say I don't mean it, even if it is just some of the time. I can't imagine doing this without him. And yes, his questions are incessant and awkward and difficult, but at least he's asking them. The ability to ask questions is highly underrated. He's so bright. Brighter than me. He sure as hell doesn't get it from you. Still talking to Leo. It's not the same as talking to an actual adult, is it? I know it's a bit old school, but I've taken to going on Omegle in the evenings. You know that? dodgy online chat room thing. Because I'm there, I can be whoever I want to be. I'm Jenny, the student who's living her best life at uni, her whole life ahead of her. Or Kira, the part-time waitress who wants to be a singer. She's just waiting for her big break. I don't live in this flat with its damp and it's mould and nearly empty cupboards. I could be talking to a pedo or a ten year old or Brad Pitt. It doesn't matter. Not really. I went on a date before all this kicked off. First one in four years. I hadn't been on a date since I was a teenager. It's not mad. We met on Tinder. He was shorter than I thought. I suppose you're taking a risk when they don't put their height in the bio. Sweat stains under his pits, bless him. He was a nice bloke. We went back to his after dinner. He paid, which was a relief because there's no way I could have forked up even half the bill. He'd a lovely house. He actually owned a house. Can you imagine? 
just imagined Leo running down the stairs, watching telly on his plasma screen, camping out in the back garden. We didn't have sex. Not that I wouldn't have, but it just didn't feel right. <laughs> we just had a cup of tea and I cuddled on the sofa and then I left. I didn't message him after that. Maybe I will. I hope he's alright. He was a nice bloke. Christ, do I want a cigarette? I wonder if that counts as an essential item. Can't leave Leo. Fuck this. I wonder if I could get my mum to leave a packet on the doorstep. It's a plan. Coming, sweetheart! Coming!